We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in, week out, prophesy the downfall. This wicked kingdom known as America, this white boy's uh, monstruct that he's created. So before we get into anything, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you out there on my third worldwide, preaching the gospel in true faith and sincerity. That's right. Or just believe, you right, know? Right, right. So we got out there that ain't, you know, built up enough yet to hit the battlefield, but they believe. So a shout out to all you out there, man that's in the faith. Uh -huh. So, you know, with that being said, man, we just kick it off. We know we're in the last days, man. Why? Because of prophecy. Man, if it wouldn't be for prophecy, we'd all be out here lost. Uh -huh. So you gotta you gotta give it up for prophecy, man. You know? Oh, yeah. you, you look at Jake, as me and the brother was, you know, before we fired up the live stream and got going, you just look at some of the Jake, they bugged out, man. Bugged out. They don't know what's going on. The church has destroyed them. The doctrine and philosophy, the wine of this white boy has completely, man, just just destroyed their mind, got them in this docile, ignorant state. They're in darkness, utter darkness. They don't know which way to go. They turn to the hood, they turn to dope, they turn to, to uh, these niggas rapping. You know, our people look up to everybody besides or except Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. They look up to Big Mama, Auntie, you know, Uncle So and So, cousin such and such. Right. But when you give them this truth, they don't want it. They don't want to look up to you how we buy from you how we shop. Cause see, you gonna cleave to your life, as the scriptures say. You know, and, and it's mentioned in John the third chapter. What you what you holding, brother? We can bring out what you was holding, then we can go to John the third chapter. Done. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It's all about faith, man. And see, here at Great Millstone, we got these prophecies, man. We're the number one group on the earth That's right. for going into these prophecies. If we ain't doing nothing else, we get into these prophecies. You know? We go into like the guy who was, we were just uh, chatting with a guy here. He said most I gave him a vision by the city coming down to earth. See, he didn't know that's in Revelation. That's referring to us, Lord William, the, the, the hopeful elect. That's right. You know, but that's that's talking about the elect. When you read in Revelation, it say, I saw New Jerusalem come down from heaven. That's that 144,000 men. That's right. You know? And possibly some of the one-third with them. But I know that's the 144,000. So we we can break this down for y'all. But y'all, y'all, y'all too busy, y'all too occupied, y'all got other things going on. You you know, you you wanna uh well him, you know, I you know, wanna down the man, but he he more interested in getting right. home to his wife. Right. Well shit. When you come into this truth, what you realize is that you are someone's wife now. Exactly. As a wife, a wife means when you become a wife, you become a, a man's servant. So we have a job to do. We out here to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So, uh, well, why you look for that? I... It's a little bit more here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. That's right. Go ahead. It says, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, mm. and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so this is why you see us out here week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. See, for a lot of brothers coming into this truth, man, that came in by way of the apostles coming on YouTube, it's been a decade now yep, yep, for a lot of the Akyam. So we, we diligently seeking Yahweh Shah because we know He's coming back with a reward for his elect. He's going to place crowns on the heads of his servants that make it up out of him, man, in the faith of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Wahara Kakudash. Right. We're looking for that crown, not that corruptible crown, but that incorruptible crown. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we diligently seeking our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, Hamasiyah. Go ahead, brother. 
Uh, where you want to start in John, the, the third chapter? We just started uh, on 16. 16? We just started there. Oh, wow. Why not? Right, that's what I say, why not? Right, because cause, cause this scripture applies to Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Where, whereas Esau always tries to use it, you know, for uh, uh, all the rest of the people, all the other heathen nations being uh, uh, quote unquote grafted into salvation. And it's not for them, you know? This is John chapter 3, verse 16. Actually, let me start at 15. It says. I started to say 15, so yeah. Okay, good. 15. It says, uh, well, all right, all right, let me start. Let me start at 12. This is John 3 and 12. It says, if I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Right. This is why we know there's not going to be a great gathering out here. In a camp where the Akiyama at, man, even the apostles, man, there's no great gathering. Now, granted, you might see 10, 20 guys that may be listening. You know, give or take, but you're not gonna see hundreds of people uh, gathered around to hear this word. Why? Because we're speaking heavenly things, and this is a corner world, and these are corner people. So this word just bounces off of them. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're uh, not gonna get it. Right. This is not for them, and we understand that. We are here for a select few, man. You know. Go ahead, brother. Gun. It says, if I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? <laughs> like, like we got a guy come by here periodically, Tiny Tim, you know? And we tell him about the goddamn CFR, he don't even believe that. That's earthly things that can be proved. All he have to do is go research it. So how are we gonna go into a virgin birth with a guy like that? Right. How are we gonna go into who the Gentiles are with a guy like that if he don't even know that there's a council of foreign relations that runs America? Exactly. You understand? So it's the same thing with John is was being spoken here in the book of John. Yeah, bro. Verse 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Oh Lord, you say. Yahweh Shahamasiah. He's the only one, man. Go ahead, I. Verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Yep. So, hey, so, going to, so going to reinforce, that is Yahweh Shah, man. Because it was talking about uh, the Savior in the verse before. Yahweh Shah says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Right, that's referring to back in uh, the book of Numbers. Oh, uh, what chapter is that? Uh, 20? Okay, it's a, it's a precept uh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Verse 15. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's the one they like to key off of. The right. whosoever. 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 What? Right. He 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 uh precept what? Numbers 21. Mm -hmm. Right. Who, who's uh -oh. Moses lifting uh -oh. up that serpent for? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> was all nations amongst, uh -oh. amongst that congregation? Get him. That was bit by that plague of the serpents that the most high sent? No. That plague of serpents was sent on the children of Israel for their rebellion. That's why that was Paul, well, John, so like it. That's why John made reference to that. And that's exactly why Yahweh shout or that serpent was lifted up. That was to represent Yahweh shout or that was a foreshadowing of what Yahweh shout would do. So, and exactly for the same people that serpent was lifted up, Yahweh shout was lifted up. No, it didn't change in these last days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get that to count of numbers oh, real okay. quick, and we'll, we'll yeah. come back to the. <laughs> it's numbers 21 and five. That's right. It says uh, 21 and four. It says, and they journey from Mount Or by the sea of uh, Salakia, by the way of the Red Sea, to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against Yahweh, 
and against Moses, wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? I got to make mention of this. It said they was compassing the land of Egypt. Right. Uh, Esau uh, compassing the land of Edom. Yep, yep, con, con. Because Esau had been a bitch since day one. Exactly. They wouldn't let us pass through the land, so we had to compare. We had to go around it. Yep, con. Because Esau has always been a bitch to you Negroes, you Latinos, you Native Americans. So I, I just had to point that out. I know why we had to compass around the land of Edom. Right. Edom. 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 Yeah. See, I'm saying Egypt because Esau nowadays he follows Egypt. Right. This is modern day Egypt. But Edom, you know, they've always been a bitch to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And now you want to show this white boy, look, this white boy ain't never had nothing but disdain and loathing towards you and your people, man. Always. Go ahead, I. Verse 5, Numbers 21 and 5. And the people <laughs> spake against Yahweh and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth, uh, yeah, loatheth, loatheth, yeah, loatheth this light bread. Talking shit. This is Jake doing what they do best, right. complaining, murmuring, and talking shit. Right, right. You know, you see him to this day. N a nigga will fall out the truth because he can't, he can't take it. He complaining about this, complaining about this. Oh, I don't, you know, why the probably got, why we got to do three videos, man? Murder. And then, all right, man, they won't go to the apostles. They gonna murmur amongst other brothers to try to get them along, you know, on their team. See things the way they want it, you know, want them to see it. You know, but no, man, just do what, this is, this is our punishment. You know, when doing this work, this is, this is labor of love, but, we are in this position for all rebellion. Exactly. Uh, so, as Baruch, the fourth chapter says, <laughs> as it was our mind to go astray, we should be seeking the Lord ten times more. So, why would you be complaining about three videos? You should be striving to do six videos. Right. You know? But that's a nigga. That's the nature of a nigga. Uh, you got to find something to complain about. Yep. You know? Right. If it ain't his way, then he can't have it. But yeah, brother. Yeah, gone. And, and that also goes through, and, and which we're going to continue reading, is that the audience was Israel. Israelites. The audience was Israel. That's so, the point. so right, back. right. You know, hey, just to keep that same thought, for when we go back to John, uh, the third chapter, it says, uh, verse six, and the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. And much people of Israel died. Oh, 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 no, not not Israel, brother. <laughs> and much people of Israel died. Israel in the Hebrew tongue, Yasha Allah, which meaning he, Prince Power. We are the princes of power, the sons of the living God, man. So that fire, that plague of fiery serpent was sent upon the Israelites. Fiery serpent that represents just talking about venomous snakes, and Jake was getting bit, and Jake was dying. Done. Yeah, bro. Verse 7, therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned. Going back to the point when brother had made him in Baruch, you know, like, 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 we are at fault for being in this captivity, you know. We broke the covenant. Done. As mentioned in Hebrews, the 8th chapter. Yep. Wasn't nothing wrong with the law of the covenant. Fault was found in us. Right. Ooh, see, because we're in this flesh. Yeah, bro. Right, right. And, and to reinforce, that covenant was only made with Israel. Israel. <laughs> Yasha Allah. Hey, hey, that might be the theme going through the rest that of the speech. It's the like, theme. hey, hey, right, exactly. Uh -huh. You can you can relate everything you want to, but the foundation of that covenant and and and, and, and these scriptures only pertain to Israel. Right. Says. Therefore, uh, yeah, yeah, verse 7, Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. So once again, going to show you, even if you speak against the prophets, you're speaking against your Abba Shimei Abishai, which is another reason why in the book of Numbers, when uh, uh, Miriam and, uh, 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 was it Aaron too? Uh, Aaron. Yeah, Miriam and, and Aaron uh, were basically 
Anthony Scoffin against Moses. That was around the 16th chapter in Numbers. Gun. Yeah. You know, so, 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 so the point is, you can't scoff and and, and go against you out by Shimei Al-Shah or the men that are set up to teach and to lead you back into uh, 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 the kingdom, quote unquote. You know what I mean? Right. Because spiritually, that's that's what we're doing. We're building this spiritual temple. You know, meaning physically, you ain't gonna be able to enter. You can only enter spiritually, which is the reason why we had quoted uh, uh, John the third chapter about if you don't understand earthly things, yep. then you ain't gonna understand these heavenly things, man. Uh, right. Because even going back to what the brother said, that New Jerusalem, that's heaven. It's coming out of heaven, but it's gonna be heaven too. Because even your house shall say it, uh, Luke 17, 21, don't say low here or low there, the kingdom of the most high is in us. So that's right, brother. Come. It says, pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. For the people. Uh -oh. <laughs> The people uh, among who the plague was, uh, or the people for who the plague was amongst. Gun. If I'm saying that the right way, but right, the Israelites. Gun. He prayed for Israel. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it up, set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, saying everyone again just like it said back in John because it said whosoever uh -oh. that's saying everyone but does that mean was, was Moab was Moab in that mm. <laughs> was Ammon in that right no because see you read it not being spiritual and then you say oh everyone you see whosoever. the word everyone whosoever right <laughs> no when it said whosoever that whosoever was amongst Israel just like right here when it said everyone, you don't mean everyone in the world. Right. Everyone who the plague was, was uh, uh, it was happening who affected. Yeah, everyone right. who the plague affected. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. You got Gone. it, brother. Gone. It says, verse 8, and the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Mm -hmm. And and and, and uh, that that serpent is talking about Yahweh Shai, yeah. you know, and, and and being bitten per se uh, is, is being um, what's the word? I guess enlightened with this truth, you know, to a degree. Well, I mean, being bitten by the serpent. Gun. Well, like I break it down, it basically represents. When you want related to these days, it represents sin. You know, it represents sin. That's that's why uh, when you look to your Howard shot now, who that serpent, that bronze serpent that Moses made, represented, you'll be healed from the poison of sin or from the venom of sin. Okay, done. So yeah, it's representing. But the, the snake nowadays is Esau, and he got his philosophies, his poison out here, his lies that he spewed that get all people trapped up and entangled. But if you turn to your house shot, you'll be healed of that. So, right, the, the enlightenment is in your house is when you look to the to that serpent. Right. That's the enlightenment. Yeah. Right, done, because it says, uh, and it came to pass, oh, so like it. Yeah, and it came to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looked at the point, it shall live. Because who was bitten? Those who rebelled those who was talking shit. No. You had guys that was there, like uh, uh, Joshua. I, I guarantee you Joshua didn't get bit by no serpent. That's why I said whosoever is bit. But now, it's like I was referring to earlier, the whosoever referred to the whole house of Israel. God. According to uh, Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, they're falling away. So we have all been bit, affected by the sin of this world. So now we all must look to that grave.